What's up, ladies and gentlemen, and everybody in between? My name is Tyler, and I'm very late on my April Reads video. I apologize. <clears throat> it's already the middle of May, and I never got around to making my April Reads video. I only read six books, but they weren't small. There was there was a couple small ones, but um, anyway, we'll just get into it. Um, I was reading the Harry Potter series, decided to take a detour, um, and <laughs> now I am in just all in over my head in the Dark Tower. I have my Ka t-shirt. I have gotten a Ka tattoo. Also have the number 19. I'm going to get the um, Arthur Availed symbol over here so it'll com complete this little this little area here of symbols connecting the Dark Tower with the Lord of the Rings, which was Stephen King's inspiration for the Dark Tower. Sorry. <clears throat> so yeah, here we are. Um, let's just get right into it with the first book I read in April, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. It took me a while to get through this book. It took me longer to get through the Chamber of Secrets than it did the Sorcerer's Stone. I didn't enjoy this book that much. Um, I did enjoy the last part of it, the, kind of the similar, similarly to the Sorcerer's Stone. Um, the last few chapters I thought were really good. The other chapters I thought were a jumbled mess. Um... I heard this book gets better once you get into the series and go back and read. But honestly, I've seen all the movies, so I kind of know what's going on. And it still was a hard read. So, yeah. I'm not not that into it. I gave it a 3 out of 5 on Goodreads. And I'm I'm not going to trash this book. I've, I've got a feeling that the series is going to get a, a lot better later on. Um, I'm not going to trash this book as much as I might be able to. There's just plot holes and inconsistencies and the logic of J.K. Rowling in this book just did not hit for me. So, yeah, three out of five. Uh, I was glad to be finished with it. <laughs> I'm sorry, diehard Harry Potter fans. <laughs> The next book I read was A Song for Swans. This was written by a dear friend of mine, uh, Zach Zinn. And um, I enjoyed this book. However, I did have issues. I'm not going to get into the issues. I did have some issues. I've, I've talked to him and, you know, he asked my opinion. So I told him about the issues that I had with this book. Particularly one major, like the biggest one, I guess, is like this relationship that the main character has with the cousin. But um, I did enjoy this book. It is an enjoyable read. It's a self-published novel. Um, if you are watching this and you don't know Zach Zen, <clears throat> or if you've never heard of this, you can find it on Amazon. Um, it's an enjoyable read. It's about a kid with cancer. And, uh, but there are issues, just understand there are issues. Um, and that's all I'm going to say about that. I think I gave it a three out of five. I would like to have gave, given it more. Um, I, I hate that. I hate that I criticize it so much. I'm just, I've got to be honest with my criticism and I would expect him to do the same with my book. Um, and I'm sure he will. Uh, so Tear it apart, Zach. Tear it apart. <laughs> uh, next book I read was another self-published work, um, although a very popular self-published work, Breach of Peace by Daniel Green. Daniel Green is a popular booktuber. Um, I, I watch his channel all the time. He's, he's great. He's funny. Uh, this book surprised the crap out of me. I really enjoyed it. It's a novella. It's small. It's real short. It's 140 something pages or 130 something pages. My bad. Um, yeah, it's, it's small, but he's doing an overarching series. He's going to do three novellas and then he's going to do a book series after the novellas. And this was 
riveting. It's very riveting. It's brutal. It's dark fantasy, dark fantasy, like uh, kind of fantasy noir um, detective stuff. The main characters are detectives. They're investigating a crime and they end up get stirring up some stuff. Um, and it's great. It's really great. And I highly recommend it. I gave it five out of five. I can't wait to read the rest of this series. I can't wait to, to be a fan of this series and have t-shirts of this series and, and maybe get tattoos of it. I, I'm, I'm, I'm that excited for it. This, this small taste has me wanting more and more and more. So yes, keep up the good work, Daniel. Thank you for this small gift. And then I dove in. I dove in hard. And I'm fat. So I made a big splash. I dove into the Dark Tower series. Ladles and, like, ladles and Jenny, Jenny man, ladies and gentlemen, I read The Gunslinger. And I enjoyed it. I heard that this was the, the, the worst book of the series. And I was like, wow, if this is the worst, here we go. I'm in because I really enjoyed this. It's dark. It's it's weird. It's a Western. I like Westerns. I, I don't read Westerns, but I was reading. I'm like, man, this reads just like the old Louis L'Amour audio tapes that my grandpa used to listen to. I'm like, yeah, this is I'm, I'm right at home here. And it's great. It's a Western with King vibes. It's great. Um, really good setup for... For the series, I, I think I gave it four out of five because I did enjoy it. Um, four out of five for the Gunslinger. Yes. And then, my friends, <laughs> I read the drawing of the three. And as soon as I began reading this, and in the early parts of this book, I was like, okay, shifting gears. Here we go. This is completely different than the Gunslinger. Um, and I'm all for it. I'm all for it, my friends. This book is great. I feel like this is going to be maybe like it's going to be one of my favorites of the series, if not my favorite, because of how joyful I was when I was reading this, because like it just it just shifted into this whole new direction. And I was just so, so excited the entire time I was reading this book. This is so good. Five out of five. I loved this book so much. So, so much. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you, Stephen King, for this gift. And then the last book. I know this is a shorter video, um, especially compared to the last one. But the last one that I read for the month of April, I read The Wastelands. This book is amazing as well. I love it. I love it so much. I love the way it opens. I love where it goes. I love all the different places we find a, find ourselves. I'll be honest with you. I still gave it five out of five because it's still a really great, great book. Still great. Um, but had this continued at the pace that it was going through the first part, first half of this book, I this would have been 100% my favorite over the drawing of the three, but right now the drawing of the three is still my favorite so far. Um, but this book has a breakneck pace until about halfway through. And then it kind of, kind of gives you a break. It gives you a break and then it goes right back in and kicks up a, a, another notch. Then it ends on a cliffhanger. So if you don't like cliffhangers, um, it's too bad because you still need to read this series. <sighs> This book is great. This book is great. Uh, I, I can't speak highly enough of this book. Five out of five. Yes. Thank you, Stephen King, for this gift. Um, I am <laughs> I'm reading Wizard and Glass right now. I'm about a third of the way through it. I know it's already halfway through May, and I'm only a third of the way through Wizard and Glass. Um, yeah, things got busy. I had a class for work for my 911 dispatch job um i just had some things going on my brother's graduating i had to write a speech i wrote a music video for a friend uh, my friend is a videographer and he is uh 
He's going to be doing a music video for a band. I wrote the script for that. Um, and I'm still working on getting my book published. So had I've, I've had a busy month so far. Um, and I'm hoping to be able to read a lot more in the last half of this month. But even still, I'm, I know I'm trying to read 100 books in a year. But if I don't make it, that's fine. Um, I'm just... I'm just happy reading what I what I want to read. I'll be honest. I was I was making decisions strategically. Like, well, if I read, if I, you know, if I read something big, I probably need to read something small. Blah blah blah. I'm just gonna read what I want to read, and I'm just gonna take it like that. And I'll still read a bunch of books this year. Uh, I've I've already read I don't know how many, but you know, it's we're still going on a journey. It's just going to be, you know, maybe we won't make it all the way. Maybe, you know, hey, shoot for the moon and you'll still land among the stars. You know what I'm saying? So maybe we'll be hanging out with with the old, old uh, Polaris, you know. That might be where we're hanging out at the end of this. But, uh, you know, I'm enjoying my time here in Midworld while I'm reading the Dark Tower. Um, very much so. I have four Dark Tower shirts now. I, I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed with this world. This is great. Um, after I finish the Dark Tower, I'm probably going to start reading some Sanderson. Probably going to read Mistborn next. Um, I do also own the uh, the um, Stormlight Archives, but I'm not going to read those just yet. I'm going to read some Sanderson. I'm going to read Mistborn, I think, and then I might read a couple more Harry Potter books. Um <laughs> I'm going to chew through that series uh, before the end of the year for sure. But uh, yeah, uh, also we have the whole series of The Witcher. So I'm going to end up reading The Witcher. Um, yeah, I'm I'm into this Dark Tower though, guys. I'm super into it. It's great. It may end up being my favorite book series of all time. It would not surprise me. It would not surprise me at all um, because I love King and I love fantasy and it's king doing fantasy so yeah yeah i'm here i'm here for it man so let's follow the path of the beam my friends and uh yeah long days and pleasant nights i'll see you guys when i make the may video it might be in june i don't know anyway see you guys later